hi today we are going to discuss about uh, inventory valuation in odo 19 basically the relationship between uh, the inventory and uh, the accounting module you know in as you know in odo 19 they removed uh, valuation layer inventory valuation layer then uh, how we can do the configuration properly and uh, what is the effect of uh, the transactions in inventory in accounts so let me discuss this one in broadly like uh, perpetual and periodic means perpetual means at invoicing time the automatic inventory automated inventory valuation and uh, periodic the manual one i'll at uh, closing time so two different one so first let me discuss the perpetual one so for that uh, open the odo then under accounting this is odo 19 version then configuration settings just uh, search for inventory valuation then here you can see now inventory valuation is uh, perpetual i set perpetual at invoicing means automated inventory valuation in the previous version then costing method is uh, average cost then valuation account i have to select the valuation account so let me create one uh, ledger for that configuration chart of accounts let me duplicate uh, this one so this is my stock valuation account under current asset and here you can see there is two uh, area to configure the account expense account and the variation account so this uh, variation account only useful for continental so now co now actually the perpetual one is similar to the anglo saxon so what i am doing here this variation account is like at closing register the inventory variation of the period into a specific account so if we want to uh, know the variation in a separate account we should configure this account here so an expense account uh, whatever the expense account configured in uh, company then it will reflect so i'll just leave as it is then save this uh, ledger then go to the inventory valuation then here i am mapping stock valuation account and journal is uh, inventory valuation so this is the configuration now let me go to the product categories i just created two categories one for uh, perpetual another one for periodic so in perpetual configured like this average cost perpetual at invoicing and stock account is stock valuation account and expense account cost of goods sold in trading so this is the account once we post the uh, invoice means sales and cost of sales let me go to the purchase new then uh, let me create one vendor vendor a then product i have product one then quantity i'm purchasing 10 for uh, 10 confirm order uh, let me create one warehouse here inventory then purchase vendor a product 1 10 then unit price is 10 so actually uh, this product 1 is uh, let me save this one this product 1 is under the category goods perpetual so is following the anglo saxon or uh, the automated uh, inventory valuation configuration then confirm order receive the goods and validate now once we validate uh, let me go to the inventory reporting in stock i can see the product one total value is 100 and 100 is 10 then if i go to the accounting and review under review there is one more option inventory valuation if i check this one i can see the ending stock is 100 so stock is reflected here but in accounting there is no journal entry at this stage then if i go back to the po and uh, upload the bill then let's uh, confirm this bill so in journal items you can see stock valuation is reflected as journal entry then i'll go to the accounting review inventory valuation so the stock valuation is 100 itself the ending stock also 100 same nothing differed there's no difference then go to reporting balance sheet i can see the stock valuation is 100 reflected in the accounting side then including the payable and also the vat at this stage there is no effect in the pnl so this is clear once we complete the purchase cycle 
we have uh, stock value effect in the accounts and inventory also the payable and what let me do the sales side you go to the sales and uh, new then customer I'll create a customer a our product is product one then quantity I'm selling all the 10 quantity for 20 then confirm then delivery validate now if I check the product one cost is 10 once I delivered and go, if you go to the inventory reporting stock report I can see the product one is now zero on hand then go to the accounting review inventory valuation I can see the closing stock is zero stock variation is zero and stock valuation is 100 because in accounting side which is not reflected so if I click here initial balance I can see here this product one this one is available in the accounting side so let me go to the sales side and create the invoice against the sales order then confirm so journal items you can see sales account is 200 then stock value is credit cost of sales is 100 then white output and everything so if I go to the accounting side in review inventory valuation is zero right now because whatever we purchased is already sold and invoiced the sales process also completed if I go to the reporting balance sheet I can see stock valuation is zero then if I go to the PNL I can see the revenue my revenue is 200 because I sold this item as 20 per unit then my cost is uh, 100 as unit by system so the profit is 100 so this is the way how we can do the automated or uh, perpetual method in uh, Odo 19 then one more thing like suppose if we want to know the variation like once we receive the material not built or once we delivered the material and not invoiced in that case what we want to do go to the stock valuation account here you can configure the variation account say like stock transit if you are configuring here stock transit then uh, you will get the value like uh, the goods received but not built and goods delivered but not invoiced now let's check uh, periodic one for that uh, go to the accounting configuration settings then here we have uh, inventory evaluation now this is periodic at a closing Periodicity is manual or daily or monthly so I'll keep manual then inventory cost method then valuation account then journal so in valuation account we have to configure one more account to understand uh, the value like uh, only use for continental this one variation account so here I will keep uh, one stock transit account let me create uh, one stock transit account or stock variation account let me keep stock transit so I'll select this account inside uh, valuation account here stock transit so let me go to the inventory inventory stock report I don't have any stock here then accounting reporting balance sheet zero then PNL zero then inventory valuation zero so let me purchase the product to product two because this one uh, configured under goods periodic here average cost and periodic and here the expense account I kept as stock valuation because while uh, I'm creating the bill purchase invoice it should go to the stock valuation instead of expense account or cost of goods sold but in Anglo or in the automated one here we are configuring cost of goods sold in trading because this is reflecting while invoicing some time that is clearly explained here okay let me go to the purchase new vendor name product our product is 2 then I am purchasing 20 quantity right now for 15 then confirm order receive validate at this time the inventory is reflected uh, 15 the value is 300 and in accounting review inventory valuation 300 is reflected and this stock transit so this means GR and not goods receipt not or goods is received but not built so this 300 is under that 
and in balance sheet there is no effect pnl pnl profit and loss there is no effect then go to the purchase upload bill let me upload any attachment random attachment and confirm now journal item is stock valuation is there so we'll go to the accounting review inventory valuation here the stock valuation is 300 and that transit or variation account is nullified then got the reporting balance sheet i can see the same stock valuation amount or the value is here so the purchase cycle is completed once the purchase cycle is completed the balance sheet and inventory valuation report is correct and perfect now we are going to uh, sell this one so go to customer name product 2 i have uh, 20 quantity so i am selling 20 for 50 as selling price confirm delivery validate then go to the inventory reporting stock report is zero because completely delivered or from stock then accounting review inventory valuation i can see the stock valuation is 300 credit and stock transit is here so in this case we, we will understand like uh, delivery is done but no invoice is not done so that is why the 300 in stock transit as variation a value if I go to the balance sheet, still the effect is same. PNL, there is nothing. So let me create an invoice again. This uh, sales order, create invoice, then confirm. Now the invoice is generated. I go to the accounting, then inventory valuation. Right now, 300. As it is a periodic inventory valuation, this is still there. This one we have to close manually as we configured the manual. Then if I go to the profit and loss, I can see only the sales account is reflected. There is no purchase or uh, cost of sales. So in this case, go to the review, inventory valuation. Here I have to click on generate entry to close this variation manually. Click on generate entry, then I can see the stock valuation 300 is credit and stock transit is 300. So once I post the inventory manual closing will be there so in this case i'll just explain one business scenario for example if it is a construction company and uh, they have uh, stock in their warehouse then they are issuing some material to the project or construction sites then end of the month they are counting their uh, you know the physical inventory like uh, then that case is there so or otherwise they have uh, the quantity the value of the stock and uh, in system wise the stock valuation is 300 still there and uh, the variance or the difference they can adjust using this entry suppose uh, this all stock they want to reflect under direct expense or indirect expense they can choose the account here so i am just keeping this stock transit itself then click on post and in valuation you can see this is zero so everything is zero only then if i go to the reporting balance sheet i can see stock valuation is zero but the value corresponding to that variation is still in stock transit so either if it is a trading company if they are following the manual closing method they can use the stock transit account instead of stock transit they can use cost of sales because in reporting if i take profit and loss i cannot see any 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 entries there so for a trading company what we can do even the project they can use other account under the expense so what we can do uh, we can go to the configuration side and chart of accounts stock valuation here we can use cost of goods sold or we can pass an entry from stock transit to cost of goods sold better we can pass a journal entry while closing time itself let me uh, let me do it again this is our entry what we passed then reset to draft and i will cancel this so if i go to the inventory valuation i can see this 300 it still in stock valuation and transit so while doing the closing entry what i will do i know Three, out of 300 uh, around 280 should go to cost of goods sold so here I will make 280 
then remaining 20 may be inventory adjustment account or uh, write off account or whatever the account so what i will do i will do write off inventory like this so i will post so this area is up to the accountant of the company or who is the consultant or financial consultant whoever 